Hey there, this is KT Bradford for Laptop Magazine, and I'm here at IFA Berlin because we are taking a look at the ViewSonic ViewPad 10, which is the company's 10-inch tablet that runs Windows 7 Home Premium and Android 1.6. So as you can see, it's got a big, big, gorgeous screen, we've got lots of nice colors here, but then down here on the bottom we've got the buttons that you're going to need if you're going to use Android, but of course because of Windows 7's touch capabilities, you're going to be able to just, you know, touch the screen and do everything that you need to do. And so it's a capacitive screen. Uh, it is multi-touch, I believe two-point multi-touch. And uh, inside it's got a 16 gigabyte SSD and instead of an Intel Atom Z series processor, it has the N455 Atom processor. So this is going to run just like a netbook and so we're going to see like probably really good performance here um, as opposed to some of the stuff that we've seen with some Z series tablets that we haven't liked as much. So um, just going through a few more of the specs, um, like I said, 16 gigabyte SSD inside. There's also um, two USBs, micro VGA port, and uh, micro SD port. And as I said, home premium on this instead of Windows 7 Starter because you need home premium for the uh, touch capabilities, the true touch capabilities that it offers for this tablet. So um, let's just like do a spin and see what it looks like on the sides. There are all the ports there. We've got two USB going on. And then, um, so it, it looks actually a lot like the ViewSonic 7-inch um, uh, ViewPad, um, except for it's a little more uh, tapered here on the edges, and it doesn't have that chrome strip. But it's uh, quite a good looking machine. I love like the, the speakers there on the side. And um, it's, uh, we don't know when it's coming out in the U.S. yet, and we don't know what the U.S. price is going to be yet, but it's going to be out in Europe like pretty soon, um, within the next two, uh, coming weeks. So um, Europeans are going to be able to get their hands on this. Now, um, about the, the weight, what weight is this? We don't know yet. Okay, but but actually, like I was holding it in my hand a little bit earlier, and it's actually a little bit lighter than the uh, Toshiba uh, tablet that we saw yesterday. So you know that one's just running Android. Now the reason why this is running Android 1.6, which we can't show you right now because we're in Windows mode, but the reason why this runs Android 1.6 as opposed to Android 2.2 uh, Froyo is because 1.6 is what Intel supports right now for their processors, as opposed to um, what can be supported say on an ARM processor or something like that, but uh, there is a possibility that it can be upgraded, so hopefully we'll see that in the future. So just wanted to give you a quick look, check out the, the camera there, um, at the UPad 10, which is hopefully coming out in the U.S. as soon as very possible because this is one of the better implementations of the whole Windows 7 tab thing that we've seen, and we're really excited to put it through its paces and see if the performance matches up to its style. This has been KT Bradford with Laptop Magazine here at the ViewSonic booth at IFA Berlin.